Now consider this question. They are saying consider a four-way set associative memory or set associative mapping with 16 cache blocks and the memory block requests are in the following order which they have given. So here there are total 16 cache blocks. So let us divide them into 16 blocks. So now we have a total of 16 blocks. So let us count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. There are 16 blocks. Okay. And they are having, they are having the following request in this particular order. Now which of the following memory block will not be in the cache if LRU is used. That is the least recently used algorithm is used. Now because it is a four way set associative. So first of all you need to understand how many sets will be there. So number of sets can be written as that is 16 divided by 4 because it is a 16 block cache with four way set associate there will be four sets so every set will be containing four lines so this is one two three four so these four lines will be there in the first set this is the first set okay now one two three four these four lines will be there in the second set one two three four these four lines will be there in the third set And then these four lines will be there in the fourth set. So this is set number zero, set number one, set number two, and this is set number three. And this is the line number zero, one, two, three. Again, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, and three. Now the first request is for zero. Okay, and it is the least recently used algorithm. The f how can you say which of the following block in will be placed in a particular set so we have to do uh, x mod n is equal to y where here in this particular case n is the number of sets okay so here 0 mod 4 is equal to 0 so 0 will be placed in the set number uh, 0 so anywhere you can place in the set number 0 so assuming 0 I am placing here next is 255 so you have to do 255 mod 4 so this 255 mod 4 is going to be 3 so you can divide 255 by 4 so it is 4 uh, 6 is 24 then is 1 and 5 4 3 is a it is 20 4 3 into it is 12 and then we have a remainder which is 3 so it is 3 so this is set number 3 will be containing 255 anywhere then we have 1 so 1 will be placed in the set number 1 so I am placing 1 here then we have 4 4 will be placed in the set number 0 so we are placing 4 here then we have 3 3 will be placed in the set number 3 so assuming we are placing 3 here then we have 8 8 will be placed in the set number 0 then we have 133 if you do 133 mod 4 so this is equal to I guess uh, remainder will be 1 divided by 133 by 4 this is 12 and this is 13 again so this is the remainder is 1 so 133 will be placed in set number 1 then we have 159 so 159 mode 4 that means 159 divided by 4 4 3 this is 12 and this is 3 and 9 and then we have 4 9s that is 36 and then we have 3 so this is placed in set number 3 that is 159 then we have 216 216 so 216 is uh, completely divisible by 4 so it is 216 will be placed in set number 0 then we have 129 so 129 if you divide by 4 you are going to get a remainder 1 so it is placed in set number 1 then we have 63 63 divided by 4 you are going to get a remainder 3 so 63 will be placed here then we have 8 remainder is 0 now out of these 4 because 8 should, can only be placed in set number 0 and set number 0 is already containing 8 so it is a hit then we have 48 48 is again for the set number 0 but again for uh, 8 is recently referred so you have to remove one block out of this so it is the least recently used in the past you can see which of the following is not referred for the longest duration of time uh, 216 is referred recently it is referred recently 4 is referred recently but 0 is not so we are going to pl place 8 here go to the past and see which of the following is not referred for the uh, longest duration of time so it is 48 now next is 32 so 32 is can only be placed in set number 0 but go to the past and see which of the following is not referred for the longest duration of time 
so you can see in the history in the timeline uh, you can see 216 is referred here 8 is uh, referred here so it is fresh 48 is fresh and 4 is referred for the long uh, uh, so we are going to replace 4 and 32 will be placed here okay now next is 73 73 divided by 4 so this is this is 73 divided by 4 uh, 4 on the 4 so you get 30 and 3 and 8 so you get 32 and the remainder is 1 so you are going to place uh, this in the set number 1 so 73 can only be placed in the set number 1 now next is 92 92 if you divide by 4 it is completely divisible again you have to place one block out of this one set uh, number uh, 0 so 32 is referred recently 48 is referred recently and uh, 8 is referred recently but 216 is referred uh, uh, very lately so it is 92 here then we have 155 so 155 can only be placed in the set number if you see 155 divided by 4 4 is 12 and this is 35 and uh, 4 8s are 32 so we are getting a remainder which is 3 so it should be placed in this one and which of the following should be removed so in the past you see 255 is referred for the longest so this is 155 will be placed here now they are asking if the family block uh, memory block will not be in the cache in LRU if LRU is used so if LRU is used 3 is already there in the cache in the set number 3 3 8 is already there in the cache in the set number 2 129 is already there in the cache in the set number 1 but 216 is not in the cache because it is replaced by 92 so answer is 216 option number d for this particular case okay so i hope this question is easy